This one right here was, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little overwhelming for me. Because when I found out about this, I said, well, Lord, what do I do then? You know what I mean? If this, if this is the case, like, how do I even talk anymore? I know some of y'all are like, what is he talking about? I'm gonna get to it. Notice how he shut off the music. So there's, um, there's some people online who are already teaching about this, but the problem is, is they're not Christians. So you're not going to get the biblical view of it. You see what I'm saying? And that's dangerous. Whenever you try to learn from people that are not followers of Christ, it can be very dangerous because they will slip things in the midst of their teachings that will alter your faith with Christ. It's better not even to learn from them if you're not rooted right. Well, you heard what he said, and we're going to see that in this video. But you have to pay very, very close attention because it's very slick and it's very subtle. Because a lot of people are not capable of eating the meat and what? Spitting out the bones. Such a stupid saying. Spitting out the bones. But he says it again later in this video in reference to the Word of God. So he's saying there's bones in the Word of God. But we'll get to that later. So as you can see, what we're going to do with this video today, by the way, I didn't really give an introduction, is this is about his secret language of witches. And we're going to just go into detail in regards to how he uh, basically tries to uh, eliminate your faith in the Word of God in such a very subtle manner. And he basically puts burdens on men's shoulders that he can't even lift. And you're going to see that in this video today. They, they're, you know, and if that's, if you can't, just leave it alone. But this was given to me by revelation. And then on my journey. You hear that? He just said, this was given to him by revelation. Let's play that again. Oh, it's so much easier when it's on the phone. Capable of eating the meat and what? Spitting out the bones, they, they're, you know, and if that's, if you can't, just leave it alone. But this was given to me by revelation, and then on my journey, this was, you know, and if that's, if you, revelation, and then on my journey, but this was given to me by revelation, and then on my journey, but this was given to me by revelation, and then on my, just leave it alone. But this was given to me by revelation. And Remember, he said this was given to him by revelation. This right here was given to him by revelation. There's so much in this video alone. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Watch. Then on my journey, I found out more and more and I was studying about it. So anyways, everybody got a pen and a pad. Blessings to all our beloved brothers and sisters online. We love you guys. Get your pen and your pad. Have your Bible. Let yes, have your Bible that he's going to try to destroy your faith in by the end of this video. Let's go. All right, so let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Basically what he's getting at is the English language is a witch language. So if you speak English, you're basically speaking in which language? Now, there's a few things I'll give him, you know, maybe a pass on when it comes to this. But ultimately, like I said before, he's putting burdens on men's shoulders that he can't even lift. Um, let me see if I can... Uh, sorry, I gotta do something different about the background here. Let me see if I can uh, show you here. Um, let's see. Yep, that's the one I wanted right there. Luke eleven forty six, And woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens, grievous to be born, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Matthew 23, 4. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. And we're going to see that today. This right here 
is a description of a Pharisee. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a separate video one day, Lord willing, in regards to what a Pharisee is. You know, people like Mr. Wally works the serpent here. People like Pinkowski, they always want to call everyone a Pharisee. They are always the first to call people Pharisees, right? Always the first. But in all actuality, what they're doing is what the Pharisees actually do. And you're going to see that with this video today. They are the ones that are the true Pharisees. They are the ones who are not lifting these burdens that they're trying to place on everybody else. And then they pass it off as being revelation from the Lord. Such a shame. Such a shame. So, for now, what I'm going to do, though, just to cut to the chase in this video, because there's a lot, and I'm going to have to probably cover this in separate sections and separate parts, is I want to cut to about, skip to this part right about here. And it's that time of the month. Enjoy. Uh, no, that's a real spell. They went ahead. Which is that boast when Azel Let's skip right about here. Brother, if you can hit that, you can just leave that open. What's his name? Hoppy. It's happy. Happy. And he's the Egyptian god of the Nile. Brother, uh -oh. you might as well just stay. Right, he's the Egyptian god of the Nile. So, so in which language we're thinking it means I'm happy, but in reality, you're paying homage to a false god and uttering his name every time you say happy. But because of how they do it, in which language, they gotta cover it up. Witches love to be in secret. Uh, you know, that's why the witches that boast, when Azalea Banks made that video, remember when she made that video? When she was cleaning all the blood out of her closet? And she was like, real witches do real things. All the, all the high priestess witches laughed at her. They're like, you're an idiot. <laughs> because the high priestess don't want... How does he know? How does he know? Oh, maybe he was fellowshipping with them. How would he know that these high priest witches were laughing at her? He, maybe he's in contact with them. It's quite possible. They want you knowing they're a witch. She don't want you knowing she's a witch. So you... You hear that? They don't want you knowing they're a witch, right? He doesn't want you knowing he's a witch. Eat her cake when she brings it to your door. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> there he goes with his, with his sodomite voice. He does that so good. It's got a special sauce in it. I'll give you a hint. It's that time of the month. Oh, Enjoy. Oh. Special. Welcome to the neighborhood. She brings it to your door. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's got a door. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> it's got a special sauce in it. I'll give you a hint. It's that time of the month. Enjoy. Oh. No, that's a real spell they do. I'm not kidding you. And just because this church don't mean I'm going to hide things and not tell you out there. That's the problem with these preachers. They be cowards. There's real ones out there, but they don't warn you about real stuff. Right? So happy, <sighs> right? Happy. So happy. Now... This one really gets me. Oh, let's stop right there. Because that's what we're really going to be covering today. But since he wants to say happy, that happy is a witch word, and basically shouldn't use the word happy. Well, happy. Let's see. Oops. Happy is in the word of God. Let's see. Twenty-eight times. Twenty-eight times the word happy is in the word of God. Happier one time. So twenty-nine times in total. Twenty-nine times the word happy and happier is in the Word of God. You know, let's just read a few happy scriptures. Happy are thy men, happy are these thy servants, 
which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. First Kings ten eight. Same thing with Second Chronicles nine seven. Job five seventeen. This one's for you, Wally. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Psalm 127.5 Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalm 137.9 Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Psalm 144.15 Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ here in John 13.17 If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. So, happy's in the Word of God. But, you know, I digress. But let's see what Mr. Wally Works has to say. And mind you, remember, this video, The Secret Language of Witches, has almost 215,000 views in just three and a half years. I hate this. The name for Satan in Egypt... Remember this, he hates this. ...is the word set. Brother, hit that light just for one minute, right? This one is almost impossible to evade. Anywhere you go, it don't matter. You go to, you know, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I'm the lady at the register, right? You give me a $15 bill, I give you your delicious burger with your fries. I'm the lady at... Anywhere you go, it don't matter. You go to, you know, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I'm the lady at the register, right? You get... Hear that? He's, a la he's the lady at the register. Give me a $15 bill, I give you... A $15 bill. So first you got $30 bills. Now you got $15 bills. What in the world is going on here with this guy? Your delicious burger with your fries and a milkshake. You give me a $15 bill, I give you your delicious burger with your fries and a milkshake. You give me a $15 bill, I give you your delicious burger with your fries and a milkshake, right? You're all set. Have a nice day. You're all safe and have a nice day. This is the secret language of the witch. <laughs> oh, come on, man. The lady is not saying, you're all Satan, have a nice day. This is ridiculous, man. I'll tell you, this is this is pitiful. And, and he's teaching this as this is revelation from the Lord. I kid you not. Witch. I got my mind set. You got your mind Satan. <laughs> you got... <laughs> You see how crazy it is? How Oh, we'll see how crazy it is. How rooted it is. You know how many ways the word set is used? Hmm. Boy, I got everything set. I got everything Satan. That is the real place they got that word from. No, it's not. No, it's not, man. You hear that? You hear that? Was the Egyptian Satan. I'm set for life. Satan for life. I refuse to use that word. And it tries to roll up he my tongue because remember. He refuses to use that word. I bet after this sermon, we could probably go through. I'm a victim just like. We could probably go through like all his videos. And I bet we'll find him using the word set. I bet we could do that. Now, I personally don't want to take the time to do that. But they, I may make a follow-up video. Of just showing all the times Wally uses the word set. Thank y'all. But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free. Amen? Oh, he just said set! I mean, come on, right there! Right there! He said, thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free. But he just told you, I don't use that word. I'm not using that word. Right there. I, didn't even have to, I don't even have to go to any other video. Let's, let's play it back. I'm set for life, Satan for life. <laughs> you hear I that? refuse to use that word. And it. I re oh, he said, I refuse to use that word. Listen, watch. Language of the witch. I got my mind set. You got your mind, Satan. 
<laughs> you see how crazy it is? Oh, how it's crazy. It is? You this know how is many so ways crazy, the word man. set is used? Oh, man. <laughs> Boy, I got everything set. I was surprised in this video, the one way he didn't bring it up about how the word set is used is in reference to like gangs because he claims to be, he claims he used to be in a gang and they talk about throwing their sets in the air, you know, throw your sets up, throw your sets up, put your sets up, etc. He didn't even bring that up. I'm really quite surprised about that. But anyway. I got everything Satan. <laughs> that is the real place they got that word from. That is the real place. Was the Egyptian Satan. I'm set for life. Satan for life. I refuse to use that word. And it tries to roll up my tongue because... Remember, he just said it. I refuse to use that word. And he's going to say it like in not even a minute here. Remember, I'm a victim just like y'all. But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free. Victim just like... I refuse to use that word. And it tries to roll up Jesus who's here to set us free. And just like y'all, I refuse to use that word. And it tries to roll up my... Jesus say it. And Amen? But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free. I'm a victim just like I refuse to use that word. But thank God for the blood of Jesus when you say it. Who's here to set us free. Amen? <laughs> so catch yourself when you say it. He didn't catch himself right there when he said it. And just tell people, I'm all good. Not all good. <laughs> Then why did you say, well, Jesus is here to all good us free, right? He's Right, right? I mean, well, I guess it depends on what way you're using the word set. Well, the scripture does say Jesus comes to make us free, but we're going to get into the word set here. I just want to let him finish his spiel. I'll say, I'm all good. And it, if you slip up, just renounce it. I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to last to the end of the, the days with this because you can't escape it. I'm not. A you can't escape it? Escape. I expect you to learn a new language. Oh, I think he is. You have to use the English language, right? But you're to avoid the ones you know are spells. Oh, you got to avoid the ones you know are spells, right? And you're to do a special prayer in the morning and at night to cover you for the day. That's how we're going to overcome. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. The guy just asked him. Let me see. I don't know if I can turn that up. I'm going to maybe turn this up when I uh, edit it. The guy just asked him, what if the word set is in the Bible? Listen to what he, listen to what he says. Well, you got to look at it this way. It was translated into English, right? So it's not God's fault. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat the meat, spit out the bones. So you got to look at it this way. Cover you for the day. Listen. That's how we're going to overcome. Yeah. Well, you got to look at it this way. It was translated into English, right? So it's not God's fault. It's not God's fault. God's the one who had it translated into English. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat the meat, spit out the bones. You see, you, you see what I'm saying? See where I'm going with this. I do see where you're going with this. Let's see where he's going with this because he said you have to eat the meat and spit out the bones, right? So he's saying that there's bones in the word of God, that there's some things you can eat in the word of God and there's some things that you spit out. Because, you know, Wally came with this revelation that he got from God, this new revelation that many of the words in our English language are witch language. It's witch words. Let's go to my trusty Bible app here. And let's pull up the word set. Just the word set alone is in the King James Bible. That's what Wally uses. That's what I use. That's probably what most of Wally's followers are going to use or will end up using. But the word set is in the King James Bible 695 times. Look at that. Now, since he wanted to bring up set, right? Before I get deep into showing all the interesting facts about the word set, I just want to go to, let's pull up a new tab, why not? And let's put in set Egyptian God. All right, so set, the deity, the Egyptian God, right? 
Um, <laughs> you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. All right, so he's the first five of God, first five gods of Egypt were born of the union of the of the brother and sister gods Geb, which is earth, and Nut, which is sky. After the creation of the world by Atom, Osiris was the firstborn, then Isis, then Set. Then Set. Uh, I'm sorry. Osiris was firstborn, then Isis, Set, Nephthys, and Horus. Like when you see the IHS with the Jesuits, Isis, Horus, and Set. Alright, so. What I wanted to show, though, is how the Seth or Set can also be called Seth, right? Seth. Well, where have I heard that name before in the Word of God? So, Set can also be called Seth. Seth in the Word of God. Adam knew his wife again. And she bare a son and called his name Seth. For God said, she, said she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Seth lived in 105 years and begot Enos. And Seth lived after he begot Enos 807 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. And then we're here in Luke 3.38. This is the genealogy. Uh, this is uh, Mary's genealogy, actually. Which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. So we see right here in the word of God, eight times we have Seth. But... According to Wally's logic, that means this is actually Satan. That that Adam named his son after Satan. But yet right here it says, after Seth begot Enos, that began men to call upon the name of the Lord. So Satan was calling upon the name of the Lord? Because remember, another way to say Egyptian set is Seth. In Greek and also in English, and maybe other ways as well, but Greek and English, you would say Seth. Um, so let's go back to here. So remember, Seth, also called Setek, Setesh, or Set. But see again. When you tell people, hey, you're all set, you're all Satan. If you named your child Seth, oh, you named your child Satan, according to Wally in his revelation. I, I, I can't even, I'm not even kidding you. This is, this is how ridiculous this is. This is, this is called putting burdens on men's shoulders that they're not even going to lift. He's not going to lift this. You've seen it. Like 10 seconds after he said, he's not going to say, he's going to do all he can to not say that word. He says it. He says it right there. I mean, this is just foolishness. So set is in the word of God 695 times. Just the word set alone. But let's do... If you do all forms... Let's see. So set... See set plus uh, all the other forms where you have setter, setis, setith, setting, setting, settle, 
settled settlist. That appears, if my calculations are correct, that appears to be in the Word of God 52 times. So we have 695 plus 52, which comes out to 747. 747, like the jet, like the plane, maybe. Because Wally is off in another atmosphere right now with this teaching. He... He's off in another atmosphere. So, set is 747, the Word of God. And that's not even including if you use the other forms of the word set with sat and sit. Because sat, sit, and sat, sit, <laughs> sat, set, and sit are all related words. So I guess if that's the case, if you're saying, you know, you're all set, well, you're all Satan, I guess that means if you tell someone to sit down, you're telling them Satan down. If you tell someone, hey, um, I sat over there or, or go sit, go, go, uh, go have, you know, I sat over there, you know, when you're saying like, that's like the past tense sat, right? I sat it on the uh, chair, right? I sat it on the table here. So you're saying, I, I satan on the table? Is that what you're saying? Because if you know, you look at the word sat and Satan, the first three letters of Satan are sat. So does sat come from Satan? I mean, seriously, this is the ridiculousness of this. I mean, it's pretty bad I have to even do a video on this. But, well, I just want to show you his, his revelations. And for this video, I'm probably just going to cover sat because, oh, there's more just in this video alone. There's a lot more. I don't want to make this video super long, but I am going to go through some of the scriptures now. And, and, and just get to some of the really good ones and some of them that might sound familiar. Let's see. We're in Psalm. Let's read some of the Psalms, right? Psalm 2-2. Two, two. Everyone's familiar with this one. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Psalm 3-6. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Let's see. How about let's see Psalm ninety one fourteen. Because he hath set his love upon me Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Man. Because he hath Satan his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will Satan him on high because he hath known my name. Wow. So it sounds like what, and I'm going to bring this all together in uh, some more videos just on this video alone. It sounds like Wally is basically saying that the Word of God is a witchcraft book. That you're re literally, use, if you read these scriptures, if you read all these scriptures where it says the word set and the Word of God, you're literally doing witchcraft spells according to Wally's logic and theory here. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. That's what Wally needs to do right there. <laughs> because he's saying some things that are going to cause people to doubt the word of God. Look what the young man, the young man asked him. He said, what if the word set is in the Bible? And it is. At least 747 times. At least 747 times. Now, somehow I counted, when I was 
counting this before. I think I counted it wrong. Somehow I counted... Somehow I counted like... 755, but anyway, it doesn't matter. 747, 755. It's over 700 times the word set in all forms of set is in the Bible. So... Let's see. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Alright. Let's go down to... This is a good one. Isaiah 19.2 I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city, and against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So that's funny because, you know, we have set and Egyptian in the same sentence. Uh-oh. Let's go to Let's go to the New Testament. That's enough scriptures from the Old Testament. Let's go to the New Testament and 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 in particular, let's go to the words of our Lord in red. So, in the book of Matthew, first time Jesus uses the word set in the book of Matthew. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Now let me read the one before that though. Now we're going to use this. The first one we're going to use this based on Wally's logic. And seeing the multitudes. He referring to Jesus went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. Now let's read this according to Wally's logic. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was Satan, his disciples came unto him. So Jesus, or I'm sorry, Wally is literally calling Jesus Satan. I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Wally is calling Jesus Satan. According to his logic... According to his logic, Wally is calling Jesus Satan. Matthew 10, 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he shall set... The sheep on his right hand. Uh oh, there's that word right. We're going to do a separate video on that one. But the goats on the left. Mark 9 12. Elias verily cometh first and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man that he must suffer many things and be set at naught. But according to Wally language, that he must suffer many things and be Satan at naught. So, once again, G Wally is saying Jesus is Satan here. So he must be Satan at naught. Mark 12, 1. A certain man planted a vineyard and set an hedge about it and digged a place for the wine fat and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. Now the next one, the next one I'm going to read, this demolishes this whole little theory. Luke 4, 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, 
to preach deliverance to the captives, deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book. Uh-oh. There's that word book, Wally. We're going to get into that one as well. And that's going to be probably in a separate video as well. I think we're probably going to start a new series just on the secret witch language or the secret language of the witches. He sure knows a lot about witches. But, you know, so according to him, to Satan at liberty, them that are bruised. See, Jesus came to preach deliverance to the captives. But a teaching like this is actually bringing people under bondage. This is actually a teaching that places people under bondage. Luke 10, 8. And into whatever city ye enter and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. Here's what Jesus said. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. Don't sit here and say, oh, well, I'm fasting, so I'm not going to eat because, you know, you might be a witch. No. Jesus said, eat such things as are set before you. Luke 10, 34. And went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Luke 11, 6. For a friend of mine in his journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. How about Luke nineteen thirty five, And they brought him to Jesus. And they cast their garments upon the colt. And they Satan Jesus thereon. I mean set Jesus thereon. So once again according to Wally logic. Wally is basically equating Jesus with Satan. According to his logic. I mean I'm not. I just. I'm going by what he said out of his own mouth. He said the word set comes from set which is Satan. That's what he said. And this is who you guys are following. All right, let's go to the last couple. Acts 18.10, For I am with thee, and no man shall Satan on thee, I mean no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. And then the last one, last two is in Revelation. Revelation 3 8. I know thy works. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Revelation 3 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Now, interesting, the very last scripture in red where Jesus uses the word set, it talks about overcoming. But if you remember back in the uh, video here, Let's go back to what Wally said. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What I have found out about, because when I found out about this, I said, well, Lord, what do I do then? You know what I mean? If this, if this is the case, like, how do I even talk it? So there's um there's some people they're not Christians. All right, hold on. So you're not gonna get the biblical view of it. You see what I'm saying? 
All right, what I'm looking for is probably a different part. But anyways, if you guys remember, there was a part in this where he said basically that through the prayer they're going to do at the end, it's going to help you overcome. I find it interesting. I find it interesting that that's the choice of words that he used. He doesn't even know what spirit is leading him. You see, but we're busting that spirit out today with this kind of video. That's what this video is to do because I understand we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through the pulling down of strongholds through God, right? And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? So I understand that Wally may not even be doing this intentionally. A part of me speculates that he might be, but if I be if I'm realistic about it, I have to understand that this is spiritual warfare. So that Wally, whether he realizes it or not, has many different spirits that are operating through him. The Jezebel spirit. He's got a Leviathan spirit. And and many other. He's got the spirit of pride. I mean he's got just He's got the spirit of a wigger. I mean, where do I, where do I, where do I go with this? I mean, he's got a lot of different spirits he's dealing with, and these spirits are controlling him. They really are. He has the spirit of a Pharisee. These spirits are controlling him, whether he realizes it or not. And he needs help. He needs to be set free. Like Jesus said, he came to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering a sight of blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Set's a good word. I mean, it's, it's, it's the fact that I even have to do a video on this is just insanity to me. It's insane that I actually have to do a video on this because this guy is trying to put bondage on people. Um, or the spirit working through him is trying to put people in bondage to think that you can't say the word set. I mean, even when we go and we and we look over here at the, uh, you know, the, the definition of the word set and everything, it has nothing to do with Satan. The Latin word seto, seto, however you pronounce it. I don't know Latin, so I may, I may not be pronouncing that correctly. Again, coinciding with sit, but it's all one family. So sit, set and sat are all one family. I sat it right there. Hey, sit down. Hey, set it over there. To put or place, to fix or cause to rest in a standing posture. We set a house on a wasp of stone. We set a book on a shelf. In this use, set differs from lay. We set a thing on its end or basis. We lay it on its side. So, set, the word set is not a witch word. I mean, that's just stupid. And just because witches use it, well, guess what? I mean, God created the English language. I personally believe, I don't have any way of proving this, but I personally believe English was probably the actual lang language that was spoken at the Tower of Babel before God confounded the languages. I believe that's possible. And the reason I, I believe that's possible is because, one, there's nothing new under the sun. And two, just as that was Babylon at that time, we see everything is coming back together right now in the day and time that we're living in. As whether you believe America is, is modern day Babylon. Um whatever you might believe in regards to that i believe it's possible that it is and with that we know that the english language is the world reserve language so to speak like that's what everyone speaks like like i mean you you're gonna find english like in pretty much every country whereas other languages it may not be that way um and also, not only that, you know, when we look at, like, the dollar is the world reserve currency. So, yeah, the dollar is the world reserve currency. You have English as the universal language. So, it only makes sense to me. I'm, I mean, I'm not, uh-oh, I used the word sense. Oh, shoot. 
Did I just place a curse on myself, Wally? According to you in this video, I did. He says you can't. You don't want to say it makes sense. He says you want to say it makes perfect perfect wisdom. He says if you say it makes sense, then you're you're. That's a spell of poverty you're placing on your life. That's so stupid, man. And you know what's funny though is throughout this entire video, he never once quoted the scripture where Jesus said every idle word about every idle word you speak he'll be held accountable for he never even mentioned that so <laughs> i went down a rabbit trail there but that that's just the word set you know and i read plenty of scriptures and we see what wally said fall you know what i'm saying you got to eat the meat spit out the bones you see where i'm going with this oh i see where you're going with what this. about the word on out the bones oh it's not look at it this way cover you for the day spells to use right. the english language right but you're to avoid the ones you know are spells and you're to do a special prayer in the morning and at night to cover you for the day that's how we're going to overcome yeah right there there it was he said right there that's how we're going to overcome that was the one i was looking for and once again isn't it interesting he's talking about literally talking about the word set and how set is satanic and again the very last verse in the word of God where Jesus is using the word set. It's talking about to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and have set down my father in his throne. Now, again, listen to what he says. The guy said, what if the word set is in the Bible? You know? He said, or do you know? So if the word set is in the Bible, my first question for you would be, do you believe in an every word Bible? Because the word of God says, you know, that it's every word. All The, whole, the word of God is pure, right? If the word of God is pure, going back to, uh, let's go back to Psalm 12, right? It shouldn't matter if the word set is in the Bible. Because according to Psalm 12, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, what more is there to say? What more is there to say? I mean, obviously, the young man who may not know any better, who asked Wally that question, he may not believe that the word of God is infallible. He may not believe in an every word God, in an every word Bible. What about what about this? What about this word or this scripture? Second Timothy. Yes, yeah, Second Timothy, and we'll just go to three sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So we see that all scripture, all scripture, all scripture, all scripture, all scripture, yes, all scripture. Every time the word set is used, yes, all scripture. Let's, let's just take out New Testament and go to Old Testament. 6.11. Just the word set alone every time. 6.11. All scripture. So all 611 times set is used in the Old Testament is inspired by God. All 695 times it's used. So let's let's do the math on that. Let's take out the Old Testament. 84 times the word set. 84 times the word set. Just the word set is used in the King James Bible. Now what's interesting about the word 80 or the number 84 is 84 is a and this goes back to biblical numerics.
People can say, oh, it's numerology. No, this isn't numerology. This is biblical numerics. We see biblical numerics all throughout the Word of God. We see the number seven in, in reference to perfection. You know, you got the seven churches of Asia. You got the seven spirits of God. You know, seven this, seven that. I mean, seven is all throughout the Word of God, right? And then you got the number 12. Number 12 is all throughout the Word of God. You got the 12 disciples. You got the 12, you know, tribes of Israel. And so on and so forth. So what's interesting about 12 and 7 is when you multiply 12 and 7, you get 84. Boom. Set. 84 times in the New Testament. Can't make this up. Can't make it up. 84 is a good number. Um, and set is a good word. So, and we're going to get more into this. Um, I mean, this is just really the first part. I mean, there's so much more I could say about this. Um, I want to play, actually, it's towards the end of this. I'm going to have to, well, you may have to bear with me, or I may have to cut a few parts out. The Nambla sign, North American Man Boy Love Association. Those are pedophiles. Your forehead. You learn cursive because in the cursive language, when you connect the lettering, they believe it has a stronger spell. You write. Oh, here we go. The righteous studies to answer, but the mouth of the wicked. And his mother answered and said. No. So this this video was put away and I was wondering why God had it reserved. And now I see why. And guess what happened the night I preached this at our old church building? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, he might be lying. Just listen to this. This is when he's in Atlanta now. Just a building. We don't put our church. We don't idolize a church building. Okay? Because eventually all you're going to have is each other's houses, the wilderness. Because once, once New World Order really takes effect and the Mark of the Beast is implemented, you think they're going to just let y'all gather at these beautiful mega churches? <laughs> you, better, you better get ready. Uh, thank God why you have buildings now. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a building that you dedicate to the Lord. But just don't put your idol, don't idolize it. All right? Cool. So, the night I preached this message, we had to go to Walmart to get some things. Of course, Walmart then shut off, shut down all the. I'm gonna tell you right now. I think he's lying, but we'll let him. We'll let him share his story. Mom and pop stores, <clears throat> but guess what happened? <laughs> and my family was with me. Even my children can testify. So we get the stuff, and as we're leaving, we're, as we're checking out. Put the things on, you know, whatever they call that. And the guy is running everything through. He tells me how much. Causes more than I expected, as usual. <laughs> no more <laughs> smiley faces at Walmart, man. I'm telling you. But, um... Man, he knows how to get you, like, see how he's working, working you, uh, manipulating you right there? Get you to laugh a little bit so you're open and receptive to receiving what he's going to share. And you're like, no way. No way, man. Brother, brother Wally. Ooh. Man, watch this. I'm about to do the walk away. My point is this. I looked at him. He had a dark presence all over him. He was very pale. Mm -hmm. He had all black on and long black hair. It looks like you could stand to use a little sun yourself there, buddy. Just saying. And when I gave him the money and he gave me back the change, guess what he said to me? What'd he say? He said, thank you. You're all sad. But it's how he said it, very creepy, as if he had an agenda, as if he knew what set meant. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. A lot of times when we think of believe on Jesus and signs and wonders will follow, we always think of the signs as these mir miraculous things, but don't undermine the little signs. Sometimes the little signs are more important than the big ones, real talk. Baby steps can be better than big steps. Sometimes. Get on with it. Get on with it already. So anyways, I looked at him and I knew exactly that spirit mm -hmm. that knew because demons, they they communicate. You see how like we got cell phones? They communicate through demonic powers, through like telepathy. I ain't going to get into that, but I knew the spirit was speaking to me. So I said to him, I said, 
I reject that in Jesus' name. I'm not all set. I'm blessed. Hmm. Set is a name of Satan. I represent Jesus Christ. And you should have seen the anger on his face. <laughs> it was like his countenance changed. And he said to me, and I'm paraphrasing. He said, well, I love Satan. He said, I just joined the temple of Set in California. Lord, rebuke that Jesus And I name. proudly donate to them every week. And I'm looking at this. This is a Walmart employee. So he knew what he was saying. Think about it now. He joined the temple of Set. He got a job and all day long, he's just like, you're all set. You're all set. In his head, he's like, you're all Satan. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> See, he said it again out of his own mouth. If you say the word set, you're saying Satan. There it is. I'm telling you this. So when it says, when it, when, when it said in the word of God, as I showed you earlier, when it says he was set, set referring to Jesus, he is saying, the word of God is saying that he was Satan. That's what, that's what Wally's saying. He is saying that Jesus is Satan by this teaching. This thing runs deep. It runs deep. When you look at the way witchcraft is permeating the environment, this new show that took Netflix. There he goes with the word permeate again. Netflix by storm called um, Stranger Things. Glorifying witchcraft. But I mean, this the, the society. I'm not going to take too much of your time this season that I preach defensive. But you don't know how to fight. As against the power. But you don't know how to with most of y'all Christians is you're only defensive. But you don't know how to fight. Ask the you're only defensive. But you don't know how to fight. <laughs> He's dancing. Ask the Lord, the teacher, hands to war and your fingers to fight, like King David said. God said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities. You see? That's why when Paul turned around and spoke to the witness, but they don't warn you about real stuff, right? They don't warn you about so real happy, stuff, right? They're not warning you that apparently, according to Wally, works over here. Jesus is Satan, according to him. Now, this one really gets me. Oh, this one really gets me. I him. hate this. Oh, he hates it. The name for Satan in Egypt is the word set. Brother, hit that light just for one minute, right? This one is almost impossible to evade. Anywhere you go, it don't matter. You go to, you know, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I'm the lady at the register, right? Why is he You a give lady? me a $15 bill, I give you your delicious burger with your fries and a milkshake, right? You're all set. Have a nice day. <laughs> You're all Satan. Have a nice day. <laughs> this is the secret language of the week. This is the secret language? I got my mind set. You got your mind Satan. You see how crazy it is? How it, rooted it is? It is crazy. You got your mind Satan. It's the secret language of the witch. You're all Satan. Have a nice day. This is the secret language of the witch. You see how crazy it is? How rooted it is? You know how many ways the word set is used? Boy, I got everything set. I got everything Satan. That is the real place they got that word from was the Egyptian Satan. I'm set for life, Satan for life. I refuse to use that word. And it tries to roll up my tongue because remember, I'm a victim just like y'all. But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free, amen? amen. But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free, amen? amen. But thank God for the blood of Jesus who's here to set us free, amen? amen. So catch yourself when you say it. 